how do we come into a place of knowing? It's so needed in the world in which we live. The promise was that you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. The truth in a world of lies, and, uh, the truth in a world of belief in things that are unknown, faith in things that are unknown, unseen. There's a dire need for knowledge, real knowledge. Knowledge of the fiat of creation, of the wisdom of creation, of the pattern of creation. How does that happen? How do we come into that knowledge? Well, in a word, grace. I think traditionally, not a word we've used a lot in Emissaries of Divine Light. For those of you who have been around a while, it may sound slightly strange, or we're going Christian here, using the word grace. But what, what does the, that word grace actually mean? If we're to see it as a word that does have meaning, what does it mean to have grace? Well, obviously it's beyond being physically graceful, though it includes that. But real grace is knowing the creator, coming into oneness with the creator, becoming a co-creator, an agent of the creator on earth, through the ignorance. Do you think that takes a little grace? To, to walk through the ignorance? To walk through what's evolving? What's going through its cycles of ups and downs? Where are there people who know grace and bring grace to the situation? Not just graceful. No, the grace of knowing. The grace of oneness. The grace of the creator, the love of the creator. And the creative command. Let there be light. Let there be light. We're here to know grace, to live in grace. Grace is being immovable in the midst of what is moving all over the place, evolving. Whatever is happening in the human experience, your own or someone else's, I'm here in grace for this. Some of it is awful, seemingly, near or far. There are things that happen in a human life. There are things happening in the world today that they're ghastly. We're here in grace. We're here to bring the foundational pattern of creation and the ordering power of love into the situation to be an expression of the power of creation, the ordering power of creation in the middle of whatever, near and far, in the immediately personal, in our immediate worlds, in the larger world, we're here to bring that vibration, that knowledge. It took us, what, seven programs <laughs> to create a path for people to come into a place of greater knowing. Not only knowing of themselves and the four walls of the immediate human experience, that's important to get familiar with our own capacities and feel them out and feel how they work. Yeah, that's important. But ultimately, the purpose of the program is to activate the human capacity in a way that makes it available to the fiat of the Almighty, to the divine impulse of creation, so that a person can be an expression of that in all the ways that we're meant to. Yes, we have these nice archetypal names, sovereign, warrior, magician, lover, but those are archetypal names for the four dimensions of the human capacity through our spirit, through our physical bodies, through our minds, through our emotional realm. 
all given over to the vibration of the creator to be here to bring the knowing of that vibration all the way through consciously, subconsciously, socially, actively, in relationship, and everything we undertake to bring the wholehearted expression of that into the world and all the things that we do, all that we're up to as human beings. And for us specifically, as emissaries of divine light around the world and our collective work to do that together consciously. No illusion that our industriousness by itself is what's creating what's happening. But nonetheless, by divinely inspired activity, there can be the expression of the fiat of the almighty the ordering power of love brought into the world. So there's something being wrapped up and at the same time, something significant we're initiating here together this morning, a vibration to, to know ourselves and to bring into the world that we may know peace, that we that all families of the earth may be blessed in what we're doing. That all nations of the earth might be blessed. That we might bring good tidings of great joy that are meant for all people. That we might fulfill the seed that Jesus of Nazareth brought into the world that we might fulfill the promise that was given to Abraham and the promise that's inherent in who and what we are as humanity by the very fact that the breath of life has been breathed into us. In that breath, there is promise, there is potential, there is something to be fulfilled. And I dare you to say we fulfilled it yet. No, there's far more to be fulfilled that we have to fulfill together. We can't make it happen instantly like that with people everywhere on, around the world, but we can allow it to be fulfilled in and amongst ourselves. How about doing that? And what would that bring if we allowed this creative compulsion to be fulfilled in amongst ourselves so that we would know the truth together, right? The truth of ourselves and each other, the truth of the pattern of creation that we're participating in, the truth of who we are, as humanity experienced by us immediately together. Knowing that, not just in some intellectual kind of way, but at all the levels of our being, 